Hello everyone, and welcome to another G1 Transformers review. And as you can see, I'm doing the last of the protector box, which is Hotspot, their leader. Uh, as you can see, he's a blue fire engine, which is a bit of an odd colour for a fire engine, if you ask me. Um, usually you'd expect it to be red, but there you go. Perhaps they didn't want to carry on in the same vein as Inferno. I don't know. Um, as you can see, I've got him boxed and complete. Um, I'll show you the box to start with. There's the uh, front box art and his original price from Tesco is there, $8.99. And normal back on this box with uh, Triptokine and Metroplex. And I'll bring his little right up and get that in shot for you. So if you want to read up on a bit more about him. You can pause it, here we go. Um, they made the same mistake on this box, the way they've got his legs, I'm just pointing that out. They did the same thing on the Motor Masters box, if you look back on that review. Um, they seem to want them to squat. Don't know why somebody in Hasbro, obviously, when they take the pictures, didn't quite know how to transform him properly, didn't read their own instructions. Um, there you go. Alright, getting on to the figure. His, his, obviously his old mode. I'll bring it in so you can see the detail on it. Pretty good um, fire engine mode. Uh, obviously you've got some moulding details, like hoses on the side, and some sticker applications. Uh, these are factory applied stickers, I believe. I don't think I'd put those ones on way back when. Um, but like the Autobot logo and that, I think that was one I like to put on. Uh, you've got your rub sign underneath the ladder there. A um, couple of features with this uh, alt mode. Uh, find me tongue in a minute. Um, all these windows are painted applications which is nice, they're not sticker ones so they don't wear off and as you can see nice and shiny on the figure. Um, rubber tyres, all with three wheeling wheels. Uh, a little bit of black, like checker plate detailing on him as well. So quite a nice general alt mode. Um, I'll put him down for a second. There's more to him than just like the normal modes. There's a couple of other little alt modes which I'll go into with him in a minute. Um, as accessories, he came with left and right feet, two guns, which are the same. Left and right fists, like a groin waist piece, two chest pieces, and two repair arms which are hinged in the middle. Um, he also obviously has got his instruction manual and text spec decoder and that, but I haven't actually got them out. The instruction manual I've actually been reading through, so I've got it unfolded at the minute, but pretty standard stuff with those. Now as far as his alt mode goes, obviously like I said, it's pretty freewheeling, goes along fine. Uh, you can lift and extend the ladder, which also will rotate round, which is another nice feature which Infernos didn't do. So that looks pretty good and it does stay where it's put, which is nice as well. Um, now getting to his other little alt modes he's got. now. There are two what you can do with him. Now the first one is supposed to be a emergency transporter, like vehicle transporter. Now to do that you lift up the ladder, lift the back section up and forward, spin it round so you've got the hinge part at the front and then lower it back in. Flip the ladder over and stick it out the front, which does look a bit odd I grant you. Um, but that's how it shows on the instructions. You take the rear section of the fire engine and pull it out to extend it. And then you take these pieces, which are the chest pieces, and you can put them on either way round, but I think they show it. It goes this way. And now I suppose they're almost like acting as side barriers. And then you can fit on, and I use first aid for this because that's what you're using the instructions for you know. 
and that's like an emergency carrier mode. I assume if there's an Autobot that's been damaged, and you can take it away for repairs. A little unusual, but I thought I'd show you that as well. Um, the second mode, which is more common amongst the combiner like team leaders, is a base mode kind of thing. And to do that, while he's got his legs pulled out, you swing them out to the sides, and then you open up the front of the cab, swing the sides down and round so that the wheels are at the top. And then you can fit on these sections. Now I believe they go on that way up. So that the pointy bit sort of thing is at the top. And they peg into holes on the sides, like so. Now what I do, which doesn't show on the instructions, is I also lift up this red section. And it sort of makes, I think, almost a bit like a a little sort of table, so it could be like an operating table sort of thing, um, but that's just me, that's not actually in the instructions as far as I can tell. You then bring the ladder section up and over the top and then stick that out the front like right so, and then these repair arms, which have got a little peg on the end, if I bring that in and get it in the light, there's a little hole there, about there, and you just peg those in and then they, as I say, they hinge in the middle so that if you get a damaged, if you get a damaged Autobot you can do repairs on it. All these bits are a bit fiddly to get in once they're in firmly, they, pretty, they stay there reasonably well and that gives him his sort of repair bay and last but not least you take the big guns and there's holes on the sides here and you can peg those onto there which gives him a bit of a weapon capability now it is front heavy so you have to be careful that you don't knock it because it will try and fall forward but that's his sort of repair mode and again you know you can bring a figure in and it can be like welding or doing electronic repairs on him doesn't come with a ramp, which a lot of the combiner leaders did. So a little bit of a difference there. The aerial bots, uh, the stunt cons, and the combat cons all had like a little ramp, which was completely useless any other time, but um, was used in these sort of modes. Right, getting back to sort of more of his proper mode. I'll take him back to vehicle mode first, taking all these bits off and out of the way. Now, now starting back from where you begun, there's the fire engine. There's a pretty similar transformation as onslaught to robot mode. Obviously you start with the fire engine mode. You obviously open up as we already have the side the front of the cab to the sides you pull the back of the fire engine down and that becomes his legs and then you've got blue tabs on the side here you just flick them out to bring his fists out like so and his head's concealed in there and it's sprung loaded so you just release it and it pops up oh and the other thing you've got to do is flip up this red section to form his chest. And that's it. You leave the ladder where it is for now. And that is basically Hot Shots transformation. Quite a good little figure. Um, he's got pretty good shoulder movement. He's got 360 degree turn and out to the side as well. So a little bit of articulation. Legs, unfortunately, no knee articulation because of, of the transformation. They only kink to the sides, which is a little bit of a shame. Obviously, in this mode as well, you can hold both the large guns, which I believe are fireball cannons, 
for this figure, which is a bit ironic seeing as he's supposed to be putting them out. But yeah, quite nice. Some good sticker applications. These are all original. Um, I'll bring him in so you can see his head, which is a little bit prime looking. But then I think even in the storylines, he sort of idolises prime, I think, a little bit. Um, wants to be a bit like Optimus Prime. But there you go. That's just another little sort of bit of backstory. Completely irrelevant to the actual figure itself. Right, so that's actually his transformation over. Now, of course, what you really buy these things for is his combiner mode. Now, obviously, you've got to take these bits off, put his fists back in, and then it, you'll notice on the side of his arms he's got a peg. Now, that corresponds with one of these holes here, and you peg his arms into the side of his body, you bring the red part back down where it originally was and you swing his legs out to the side in that sort of sumo squat sort of position, poke his normal robot head back in and bring up the ladder section and you'll notice a black piece at the front here, turn that up and flick it up into position and that locks into a groove on the back and then swing the ladder back down and out the way and then you've basically got the main torso there of defence or quite a good head detail, I'll bring that in at this point that's a nice G1 face nicely coloured up and paint applications really like that one and he's even got a little bit of side to side head movement as well which is really nice because most of them don't have that it's sort of the likes of um, well, I'm trying to think the Stunticons one Menasaur, you can't move his head at all, it's just a plug on face which goes over Motor Masters one so that's nice in itself now to finish him off before we start combining him fit the chest pieces onto the holes in the front, like so, to give him his chest. Waist piece is just one sort of peg on the top there, a couple of little ones there. The little ones go into the top of the legs, and obviously the main one just slots in between. And you just put it in, and it just clicks it into position, and sits there quite nicely. And that's his main torso sorted out. Now we get to the other protector bots and bring them in. Now they're all in vehicle mode to start with. And we'll start with his legs, I think. And we'll do streetwise first. They show him as the left leg. So first of all, you want to separate him out a little bit. Swing the bonnet of the car open and that reveals like the dummy head but it's not in this figure it's not actually the head it's just the post put the arms back in I believe and that just pegs straight into the holes in the bottom of Hotspot's feet and so it just goes in there you go and it just push that all nicely shut and then obviously you can peg on in the back of the car mode one of the feet, just laying down for a second. Now the other leg, which is groove, you take the front of the bike and spin it round, lift his head up a little bit like so to lie it up, and then that's got to go in the other hole, and then same thing, hole in the back, peg on the foot, put it in, and that's his legs done. Now we come to the arms. Now with blade blades, sorry, we've got to extend his legs, swing the tail sections round, open up 
the front of the helicopter and close the blades up and then they tuck in like so into the, a notch in the front now it does bend them a bit so I don't always do it that way because I feel it kind of is going to cause it some issues later on so again I do it like I showed on his own review which is I use them out to the side like so but it does show them hanging down like that but then they're going to just swing about so at least this way they are locked in a position so they stay put and obviously to form the arm section you've got to swing his head down to create the post to go into the side and that just fits in the hole at the top like so and then of course you fit his right fist into the bottom and then of course we're just left with the left arm which again basic transformation swing the back of we'll pull it out first let's forget that swing the back section around flip the cover open lift his head down like so plug him in they do fit in nice and easy plug his fist in now you've got two holes to choose from and I would say the bottom one's probably better and then of course you can just plug the guns straight into those fists and that's it that is defense or combined um, quite a nice combiner I should lift the camera up a little touch to get him in a bit better for you quite a nice combiner quite sturdy nice blocky chunky figure um, from the side not as skinny as some of the others a little bit in maybe the bottom legs but then you, you're governed by what the vehicle modes are really um, as with most of them you've got 360 degrees in the arms a little bit of backwards and forwards at the, el at the shoulder no movement at the elbow but there you go you can't help that um, due to the transformation you can actually bend at the foot though obviously that's not going to support anything so you can't really pose him um, but generally you know you've got to expect a limited amount of articulation we're dealing with a figure what came out I think in 86 I think it was so it's quite nice though like I say that he has got head movement due to that transformation that is nice and all round a really good figure really colourful um, I think they did reissue him later in I believe that might have been the tail end of G1 they did a Japanese re-release of this where actually Hotshot is red um, Hotspot sorry not Hotshot Hotspot um, is red and I think that basic combiners are about the same but I think there's a bit of blue on them but uh, yeah that is a sort of a rarer I haven't actually even seen one of those uh, for sale so they must be quite scarce and um, obviously this is the more common one as this was released in I think all over the world um, but yeah a really good combiner well worth picking up obviously the more complete he is the more he's going to cost you um, I'm fortunate in the fact that I've kept all mine from new so they're in good nick not faded obviously with so much white plastic you got to watch out for uh, sun fading and discoloration and I have even seen that on the blue of hotspot as well um, but that's about it obviously sticker wear is normal concern but again he doesn't tend to suffer with it too badly obviously the better they've been treated over the years the less you've got but uh, as you can see even though I did play with these when I was younger they stood the test of time pretty well no real weaknesses as such possibly one of the bits you'd have to watch is maybe the skids 
on blades. Um, they, I have seen damaged ones of those because it's just a spindly bit of plastic. And obviously the handlebars on Groove is another place to watch out for. But other than that, a pretty good bot. And one I would recommend picking up. He's not a huge one. I'll bring in the usual little figure to compare. If you want a Cyberverse figure to stand up against him. Um, about the right size really for these combiners because if you've got the small figure variations on say you actually I've got a little one of the movie primes would be about right for the combiner modes because he's about the right size for individual combiner part um, so yeah kind of in scale so that's quite nice though obviously as I said about on Groove's review the bike mode is huge and completely out of scale with the others. It's just a pity they didn't use a different vehicle, you know, something else, some other kind of rescue vehicle. I don't know. Off the top of my head, something I could actually suggest to them. So maybe, maybe that's the reason they ended up with a bike. Maybe they couldn't think of anything else either. But uh, yeah, it would have just been nice to have something the same scale as them because then they all kind of matching nicer but that's about it really um, not much else more to say about him so I hope you've enjoyed this review and that maybe that's shown you something a little bit different as regards some of these little alt modes and if you've got any comments please feel free to um, anyone sort of watching who's not subscribed again please feel free to subscribe I'll be doing a lot more G1s and other generations figures as well um, yeah that's about it really so I hope you enjoyed that review and I shall see you again for another Transformers review